Hey, Ryan here with Accelerate Marketing. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about using call tracking for your local service ads and why it's important and how to set it up. So I'm sending you this video probably before we meet and yeah. to really make sure that you understand the importance of call tracking. It's really for three reasons. And if you don't have call tracking set up, then you're just not gonna know anything about how you're spending your money, where it's going, what it's going for, how it's being spent, what your return on investment is, and you're not gonna be able to win at local service ads. Why? Because you're not gonna be able to simultaneously call as many numbers as you want at one time, and because you're not gonna be able to go 24 hours and use what's called a call flow in order to have the phone answered a certain way during office hours and then after office hours, et cetera. So I'm gonna go through these three important reasons for having a call tracking system. When somebody is looking for a business on local service ads, this is what happens. These are the foreclosure attorneys that come up. This is the Google screen section. And then this right here is the call button that people click to call in Google screen. Now, when somebody taps that button, they get this phone number. This is actually a call tracking number that's given to you from local service ads. What we recommend is to have another call tracking number on top of this that will give you even more granularity and more features that will help you win and become one of these top two or three now in the Google screen section. It's super important to do this because if you do, you are gonna be much more likely to show up in this top section here because this is where people select the people that they wanna work with, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back. So here's what's going on is you wanna make sure that call tracking is set up for basically for three reasons. Number one, so that the, the calls can be tagged. This is what my team does is they tag the calls, they listen to all the calls. As far as I know, we're the only agency in the world that does this. This helps us identify on our disposition sheet that we send you daily exactly what's happening with the call so that we can identify what the return on investment is that you're getting, okay? Super, super important, guys. Number two, you wanna set it up so that you can, again, set up the simultaneously calling of as many phone numbers as we possibly can for you guys so that we increase the likelihood that all calls are answered as fast as possible. Number three reason is to make sure that we set up what's called a call flow so that we can have certain numbers or any number of numbers rang from nine to five or during office hours and then after hours have certain numbers rang differently so that we don't have to count on a human changing that and being responsible for doing that so that we are assured that, again, we have as many phone numbers or phone calls answered as possible every single time. Let me know if this makes sense. There's plenty of different solutions out there for a call tracking service. We recommend CallRail. Call us up, we're CallRail partners. There's also RingCentral, et cetera. We, we really prefer that you use CallRail, but anyone does work. And this is just foundational stuff, guys. If you really wanna be successful in your business, no matter who you use, I would recommend as a foundation that you have a good, solid call tracking service set up so that you can also track where all your calls are coming from. Are they coming from Google Business Profile? Are they coming from LSA? Are they coming from Facebook? And or are they coming from your website? When we set up call tracking, we put code on your website so that we can identify where those calls are coming from. Because even though LSA can track this, what happens is that a lot of times people will go to your LSA page or they'll go to your DVP page and then they'll click to go to your website and then when they go to your website, you lose track of them. But if you've got the call tracking code on your website, we can identify where that first click happened. Did it happen on Google Business Profile? Did it happen on LSA? Is that where they first went? We wanna give the attribution back or the credit back to LSA or GBP and not somebody coming in and calling you from your website. Does that make sense? So this is why having this is so important, about 10% of people will do that, okay? And we wanna give the correct attribution back to where it deserves credit. So again, let us know if you have any questions, thanks. Text me at 619-304-5155. Again, 619-304-5155. Thanks, bye-bye.